The PRTF is a level of care that is between hospitalization and ER care and residential treatment. So it's more intensive, but it's also less restrictive. Brooklyn! Can you go find a seat? Students who end up at Northwood are typically students who have had a very traumatic start to life. And I'm not talking like they got into a car accident. They've had several exposures to some really heinous things done to them, whether it's physical abuse, neglect, sexual abuse, um, being raised in a home with a lot of substance use. We take aggressive kids. We take kids with some really tumultuous backgrounds. We take kids who swallow things. We take kids who cut themselves and break things because those kids really need a lot of help and they need somebody to not give up on them. The repercussions of trauma on somebody, you know, you can't really judge until you so you start working with them and, it, and it's amazing how uh, resilient these kids are and we remind them a lot about, hey, there's a lot of things that you've been through, that you've seen, that you've done, um, but yet you're still here. What's unique about the PRTF is that they have not only the opportunity to be outdoors, we've had kids come here and they're like, wow, this is the first time I've been outside in four months. I think that's a huge part of what we do is that recreational programming piece. We're outside, we're doing things, we're hiking, we're mountain biking, we're out in the community. So these kids get to try new things they've never gotten to try and feel success in areas that maybe they didn't realize they were successful. I want you to turn your attention to page 19. We're going to talk about friendships, communications, and problem solving. We have a school that is embedded right into Northwood's property, and we have teachers that come from ISD 709 to teach our students. How many of you have someone in your life where you know when they give you a look? Who is that person? Travis. Travis. You know when Travis, your staff, is not pleased with you, right? Because you built that relationship with him. It took a while, didn't it? You take this giant vault of mistrust and you put it into a child that's been here on, on, the, on the earth for 16, 17 years and this is probably their 10th, 11th or 12th placement in their short lives, which is crazy to think that a 16 year old or a 15 year old can have been to multiple different residential treatments like this. A lot of times it's their last opportunity before they turn 18 and trust is huge. A lot of people have broken trust. We could work on brainstorming decorations for the doors. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, what do you guys think if we look up some ideas and start making some decorations? Yeah. Yeah. We have a lot of staff who are here for the right reasons. They really want to help these kids. They really want to teach them some new opportunities. And that's, I think, really the heart of it is where their heart is. And then we should do the rainbow. Oh, look at that. And then we can put everyone's names as the gold coins. Yeah. That's an easy idea. We review these kids regularly, where they've come from, what they're dealing with, what's taking place maybe with their families currently that could be impacting them. And so the staff are really trauma-informed, and with that comes a great deal of empathy and understanding that, wow, okay. So today, I'm going to be the one that they hate because I'm the solid object. I can be counted on to not walk away, to not give up on them, and to not leave them.